hi everyone welcome back to s2cs so as you can see in today's video i am going to discuss about computer network and its types so for a new viewer to the channel and if you find my videos informative please don't forget to subscribe and like the video so let's start so what all points in today's video i am going to discuss what is computer network what are the uses of computer network and types of network so let's start so first is what is computer network so interconnecting a set of computers with each other using some transmission media to enable communication and data exchange between them is termed as computer network so what you are doing you are connecting a set of computers now how you are connecting using some transmission media your transmission media means some form of wire or cables and then for what you are for what purpose you are connecting to enable communication or data exchange so this is known as computer network clear next is what are the uses of computer network why we are forming a network so the first use is exchange of information so if a network is formed you can easily share your information or transfer your information from one computer to other second one is sharing hardware resources so instead of maintaining a a hardware resource for separate pcs because it will increase your hardware cost so if it's if, uh, through computer network what you can do is you can share this hardware resources like printer cd drive which will uh, automatically reduce your hardware cost and at a time uh, n number of users can share the hardware clear third is preserving information what happens through preserving a particular information is stored at a particular place on a storage device so on demand if authenticated users need it they can access that information so that is the third use of computer network last is protecting information as you know the privacy of a information is very important so through networks uh, the information is protected from the unauthenticated sources clear now <clears throat> you should know what are nodes and links in computer network so with the help of the figure you can easily understand what are nodes and what are links so you can pause the video and go through these terms so the figure shows communication links between a b and c so what are this a b and c these are stations and this stations in a network is called as nodes so we have three nodes a b and c now how this nodes are connected they are connected using links so there are two terms nodes and links next is types of network now depending on your coverage area and what all facilities your network provides it's been divided into three types that is lan man and wan so first is local area network now how it got its abbreviated form lan l from local a from area and from network so that makes lan local area network so what lan is it's a collection of connected devices within a limited area so now the area here is limited that is schools buildings offices so a small area is being covered by lan so it is privately owned network it offers much higher speed okay because it have it just covers a small area and data transfer rate is also high and it is inexpensive and easy to install so if you want if you want to know more about this types of network you can comment down i will be covering its detail one in my next video moving to metropolitan area network what happens in metropolitan is a, a slightly more larger area is been covered by man than lan it covers range from 5 to 50 km the data transfer rate is moderate to high not high as lan but moderate to high it is hard to design as compared to lan so what all examples it include cable tv networks university campuses and the last one is wide area network it spans a wide area beyond single building or large campus to include multiple location spread across a specific geographic area or even the world so you can say a more wide area is been covered by a wan for example if you are connecting the computers that is spread around states countries okay in that case we use wan so what happens as the coverage area is more the data transfer rate and the speed will be less as compared to lan and man and it is difficult to design and maintain so the best example for wan will be internet which everyone knows what is the use of internet nowadays so i hope you are clear with types of network 
so thank you for watching you can also visit my another channel s2 learn for english grammar videos and if you want more computer related videos from my side please don't forget to subscribe the channel i will be bringing more and more informative videos in your future so thank you for watching bye